Your Eminences, Your Graces, Reverend Fathers, Your Excellency, Foreign Minister of Artsakh, Your Excellency, Minister of Education and Culture of Republic of Artsakh, dear guests, I think after this morning's wonderful service, we are back and some of our friends are coming still, but we have tight agenda today. So I'm going to start today's session. Yesterday we spoke about religious freedom in the world and we discussed a lot of items related to it and also we spoke about persecution of Christians. We marked that the Christianity is the most persecuted religion in the world today. And today's topics are a bit different and uh, we are going to speak about cultural heritage protection issues, which is important. These are values created for, uh, by humanity, but unfortunately during the armed conflicts, during the wars, they are be becoming targets, they are being destroyed. So today we are going to hear presentations about this. But before coming to this subject, I am humbled and privileged actually to invite our guests who traveled all the way from Stepanaker, from Artsakh, to come and to be present at our conference. And I would like to invite to stage His Grace Bishop Vertanes Abrahamian, the Primate of the Armenian Diocese of Artsakh, His Excellency David Babayan, Foreign Minister of Artsakh, and Her Excellency Lucine Garamanian, Minister of Culture and Education of Artsakh, and our Reverend Father Garagin Hambartsumyan, who is leading our department here of Artsakh Cultural and Spiritual Heritage. You know, we spoke, speak about difficulties, about challenges, about wars, about conflicts. Sometimes we read about this in the newspaper, in mass media. We read documents, but it's different when we learn about this from the people who survived these atrocities. And today we have people who have come to give us their testimonies about what happened, especially recently during the, in Artsakh. You know, last autumn, Azerbaijan, with the support of Turkey and with involvement of mercenaries, terrorists from Syria, they unleashed a war against Republic of Artsakh, 44 days war. If it wasn't involvement of President Putin and the Russian peacekeepers, we don't know what would happen at the end, but thanks to God, there was a ceasefire, and now there is still the situation is volatile and precarious, but uh, there is a sort of peace, and tr people are trying to re restart the normal life in the Republic, to build their country. They have concerns, they have fears, they have tears, so they have come here today to share this with us. And it is an honor for me now to invite His Grace Bishop Bertanes Abrahamian to give his testimony to us. Bishop Bertanes Abrahamian is a member of the Brotherhood of Holy H. Miyazin. He is original to Karabakh. He was born in Karabakh. He grew up in Karabakh. He studied in H. Miyazin's monastery. He served in Armenia and Russia. Later on, he was leading the, Armi uh, the, Armenian, uh, the chaplain, uh, Armenian Armed Forces chaplaincy. He was chief, chief chaplain of the Armenian Armed Forces for more than two decades. And recently, he, he was appointed as a primate of Artsakh. You know, <coughs> Artsakh is one of the 15th provinces of historical Armenia. 
And the church in Artsakh was established in the fourth century. Since then, we have had a vibrant, a strong church with a lot of monasteries, a lot of beautiful churches. And unfortunately, during the 30s, yesterday, Father Phil Laret was speaking in, and he mentioned about persecution of the church during the Stalin regime. The church in Artsakh also ceased to exist and the clergy were banned or killed, exiled until 1989 when diocese was reestablished by late Tolikos Vasgen I and Archbishop Parkev, who was here yesterday, an iconic figure in our modern history. He led this diocese until recent, recently. And today, Bishop Bertanes is leading this diocese. Sir Pazanay, you are most welcome. And please, we are listening to you. We want to know more about your mission, about diocese, and we want to learn about concerns of your faithful. Please, the podium is yours.